Welcome to another episode of Unlocking the Mind Behind Make More Work Less. Hi, my name is Fong Chua. I'm an entrepreneur, business strategist, real estate investor, speaker, and also a best selling author. And every single day, I help others unlock the potentials and guide them to succeed. Today on Unlocking the Mind, we talk about another cognitive bias. And the reason why I have this show is so that we can better understand how our minds work, how we can make better decisions, how we can avoid certain cognitive traps so that we're able to become more successful, be able to achieve more, and also be more efficient, and also uh, avoid having other people trick us as well. So today's Unlocking the Mind uh, Cognitive Bias we're going to be talking about is time-saving bias. So what exactly is time-saving bias? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever felt that, oh no, I need, to be, I need to be at this one appointment and I need to rush. I don't have that much time. I'm gonna to have to drive a little faster. Only to realize when you get there, you only saved, I don't know, maybe a minute or two minutes. Would that really have made that much of a difference? How about this? Again, with driving. You're driving down the highway and then you see somebody go Vroom, and they drive right by you, rushing, 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 rushing. And then two, three minutes later, you end up at the same red light. How much did that save them? How much did that speeding by you save them in time? Well, probably not very much. So that's what time-saving bias is, which is basically us as, as humans, we have a tendency to misestimate the amount of time that, it really, uh, that we could actually save by speeding up something. Um, we're not very good at understanding how much time we're actually uh, 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 accumulating if we rush to do something. And more likely than not, when we, when we rush to do something, it ends up being bad anyways, or not being as effective as we thought. There's the, uh, there's the probability of mistakes. There's the probability of going back and redoing something. And in the end, how much time do you actually save? Now, when you ask the question about, well, what are you saving that time for? Well, you want to save that time so you can finish that task first. And then once you finish that task, you have more time to spend um, relaxing or have more time spending with your family and, under, and having fun with that or enjoying that little chunk of time so that you can have more fun. Well, if that's the case, well, isn't it kind of uh, counterintuitive by actually rushing and not making that whole process not enjoyable at all, only to gain just that little bit of time to be enjoying? Whereas if you spend more time actually enjoying the process, you might actually prolong the positivity of what you're feeling. For instance, let's say you're rushing through cooking a meal. You lose that time period of actually enjoying cooking that meal with a loved one or with a family member, or even just experience that uh, cooking for yourself. And then you could actually enjoy that period of time and enjoy the meal. Instead of rushing through the preparation, it doesn't taste very good, it didn't turn out the way you want it, and then now you're not going to have a good meal, and you can't enjoy it anyways, and it, it leads to a uh, un, uh, unpositive uh, experience. So again, by rushing, we're taking ourselves out of the living. We're taking ourselves out of being present at the moment. We're taking ourselves out of actually enjoying what we could be enjoying on a day-to-day -day basis. So sometimes we just have to take a step back and relax and just find the enjoyment in the process, find the enjoyment in the tasks that we have to do. The moment we start putting a rush to things, the moment we start speeding things up, the moment we start giving a time limit to things, it makes that become a chore. Driving is no longer uh, is no longer enjoyable because the, it leads us to the means to the ends. It gets us to that one destination. And once we're at the destination, then we can enjoy ourselves. That means we're looking at the driving as something as a chore and not enjoyable. But it could be very enjoyable. You can make it a, an experience. You can make it something that you can actually relax and build your, your uh, mentality to become a, a lot more positive. So the thing is, time-saving bias is something that we all experience, and I'm sure that everybody here will experience it once or twice or even uh, throughout their entire day. The thing is, we have to sometimes take a step back and understand we can't rush through everything. We, if we rush through everything in life, then we can't enjoy life. And we need to take that step back and go, hmm. Can I make this more enjoyable? Can I slow down? Do I really need to rush? And if I do rush, is that little bit of time savings really going to make that big of a difference? Always think back for about that person that just flies right by you only to see them at the same red light a couple minutes later. Because really, we're not very good at estimating the time. So that 
is time-saving bias. I hope you learned something in this episode of Unlocking the Mind. If you enjoyed this episode, go back and watch some of my other episodes on Unlocking the Mind. And if you like this show, we have a lot of other shows, the Peak Potential Success Show, the Master Mind Bites, the Make More Mind Bites, that's up every single week on this channel. Uh, thank you very much for your support, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions. I can't wait to see your comments. I love seeing those. And so therefore, thank you very much again. Until next time, today is the day to unlock the Peak Potential. I'll see you later.